Okay, uh, this example number 8 for the analysis of iterative algorithm. Look at this uh, um, algorithm. This is a real algorithm. The, this algorithm actually try to check the, all the elements in a given array of n elements are distinct. Okay, this is actually the algorithm try to find all the elements, whether this list is these elements are distinct okay we have the loop here two loop uh, auto loop you know i equal to zero and two n minus two mean less than n minus two and increase by one okay for j equal to i plus one so if zero zero plus one start with one two n minus one do and test that if a i equal to a j if this true return false otherwise otherwise mean every element basically false return false then uh, this is a true which is actually the least all are distinct okay now based on the loop just now we're going to do the analysis okay the first loop is i actually is until the n minus 2 right the second j actually until n minus 1 start with the 0 and uh, j start with the j equal to i uh, i plus 1 and i here is 0 ok so for the summation formula we map to the summation formula this become n minus 2 this become i equal to 0 increase by 1 and we have another summation here the second summation that in the loop j equal to i plus 1 and this until n minus 1 and 1 this is the first step we need to establish this from there we need to simplify and in order to prove this become uh, in general we can see that uh, at glance so n minus n which is n squared but how we to prove it and you have to do the analysis simplify all this uh, equation and finally end up with n squared okay back to this summation we need to solve this first so this become uh, mu minus l plus 1 refer to the equation number 1 this uh, will be n minus 1 minus i plus 1 plus 1 so we need to simplify this become n minus 1 minus i minus 1 plus 1 correct and this we can basically simplify this this end up m minus 1 minus i good so we settle for this and finally we have to go back to this we have another summation here and minus 2 i equal to 0 here this become n um, we have this, this uh, n minus uh, 1 minus i ok so next we need to solve this ok we continue here uh, just now we got uh, m minus 2 i equal to 0 uh, i equal to 0 and n minus 1 um, minus i and now actually we can uh, simplify here uh, this equal to this the summation here equal to this uh, another summation m minus 2 i equal to and we take this i here this we can map to the formula uh, formula and summation formula number 2 uh, equal to 1 plus 2 until the end and end up with n time m plus 1 so now n here is actually n plus 2 n minus 2 here and here we have another n we have to substitute n minus 2 and minus 2 plus 1 here over 
2 so now this become n minus 2 and n minus 1 over 2 and this is our uh, the simplified version from the summation n minus 2 are here so we finish this so we need to uh, continue with this m minus 2 i equal to 0 m minus 1 here ok now we're going to simplify this the first summation m minus 1 i 0 m minus 1 here to become like this so we can bring back m minus 1 and this become 1 so m minus 2 i equal to 1 and this actually we can use the summation formula number one uh, n minus two here this is uh, n the mu and zero here i here minus l and plus one this is actually the original formula so uh, m, mu here n minus two l is a zero plus one so finally you can simplify become n minus one okay and here we have m minus 2 this actually m minus 1 here so now we got already here m minus 1 n minus 1 and minus here we have here the summation uh, the first summation what we uh, resolved just now and minus 2 and minus 1 over 2 okay now from here we want to simplify this in order to get the uh, n squared here ok we need to simplify this this become uh, the n squared uh, minus n minus 2n and plus 2 over 2 here right and for that we have a n minus 1 n minus 1 here and this becomes um, n squared 3n minus 3n plus 2 over 2 so we need to uh, put this also uh, over 2 here this become 2 n minus 1 n minus 2 okay and finally uh, this become 2 uh, n squared uh, minus 2 n uh, minus 2 n plus 1 here and this um, over 2 this n squared plus uh, 3n minus 2 ok this become 2 n squared minus 4n plus 2 minus n squared plus 3n minus 2 over 2 ok just now we got 2n squared minus 4n plus 2 minus n squared plus 3n minus 2 over 2 so here we can simplify so this 2n squared n squared should become n squared and we have the 4n here minus 4n plus 3n become n and plus uh, 2 minus 2 and finally got this over 2 ok uh, so basically we can omit that the uh, constant here and we can directly conclude that uh, this become n squared you know because you take the highest end. so we can conclude that this element of O n squared or simply we can declare this big O of n squared okay for this algorithm